Hey DIYers, what's going on? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking reverse osmosis systems today. In the event that you have low water pressure coming out of your faucet, chances are you don't have enough air pressure or PSI in the tank. We're going to show you how to repressurize your RO tank. Let's get started. All right, DIYers in the kitchen now, and there is our reverse osmosis faucet. You can hear some crackling sounds, and that is the air gap on the side. That tells us the system is working properly. The water's flowing through the system and making its way to the tank. What we're experiencing, unfortunately, is we have a slow output, even after letting it sit overnight. And a few things can cause this, actually. And in our case, what we believe is we need to repressurize that tank. But before we do that, take a look at your filter case, make sure there are no leaks, make sure the water lines are properly secured and inserted in the back of the case. And if all looks good, let's go ahead and repressurize the tank. I recommend grabbing a working and reliable gauge. And it looks like ours is two pounds shy. So we need to add some air. At this point, I have the air pump hooked up to it. Do not use a compressor. You will damage your internal bladder. Grab an air pump. A little goes a long way. I'll take that off and test it. Back to testing it. And I am right at seven. Perfect. From here, we will resecure the cap. Make sure you align the thread properly. Do not cross thread it. It should spin like that. And do not over tighten that. I'll give it a couple hours, maybe two to three hours and then I'll test the faucet. All right, DIYers, it has been three hours. Let's go ahead and test it. Look at that. Well, that two pounds of pressure makes all the difference. DIYers, hopefully this helps. In the event that this does not help, well, chances are it's time to replace your filters and membrane. And we have you covered. Scrolling above is a step-by-step -step video on how to properly replace both filters and membrane. Definitely check that out. From here, do us a favor, blow the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.